Hello everybody, Sarkoth Haven here, and we are doing a video on the rare weapon loot crates here in the Drucker County map. And the first one is located off of the T intersection here in the north part of the map, as you can see here. We flip in, you just have to go through the, the barriers here, go straight down the hill. We're going to try to avoid zombies while doing this. As you can see right down here there's a mini campsite and there are two containers here there is a skeleton and the loot crate that we're looking for is right here on the table along with this battery I bet I'm not the only one who can and use we this. found a dev grew x12 infiltrator it is a ranged weapon assault shotgun Uses 12 gauge shells, capacity is 30, and pretty good shotgun. And we've already got one of those, but we'll move on to the next container, the next loot crate. Everybody, so this is the location for the rare weapon loot crate number two. It's at the top of the water tower here in the north section of the map, and there is those construction houses over to the east of this and then just go up the water tower. You gotta climb up a little ways once you climb up. Go around to the back side of it here. And there's the loot crate. So there you go. Let's see what we get this time. Hopefully something good. And we got a rebar blade and a network guide to vehicle care incredible trade value apparently and uh, i'm not sure about the rebar blade but i'll have to try it out i didn't know that this was considered a, a rare weapon slow me down a bit. but hopefully that works out all right moving on to the next one hello everybody and this is going to be the rare weapon loot crate number three it's here on the northwestern side of the map along the road here if you go off a little bit you're going to see a you're going to see a couple blue containers over here that means you're getting really close to the location and this campsite it's leaning right up here against this blue, I guess, water collector looking thing. Oh, well, there's the water collector. Oh, this is for the quest where you have the people who are making the distillery, probably. So this is what I believe they use for the distillery, but it looks like a weapon collector. I mean, a water collector. And then just go over here. Let's loot the chest, see what we get. Chest number three. Good find, old man. And wow, I do not have this weapon. This is a new weapon for me. This is the Mac V. Uses 45 caliber rounds. Says an exceptionally rare Vietnam era Mac 10 with original suppressor and folding stock. Much easier to control than the more common machine pistol configuration, but old enough to warrant frequent maintenance. Very cool. I c I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Are we looking on that job? And uh, we're gonna move on to the next chest. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so we're on our fourth loot crate, and it is located just south of this town here. I forget what the town is named that we're in right now, but it's over on the, the west side of the map. It also has the base for the wheelhouse truck stop right here, so just south of that. It's an evacuation center. It looks like it's heavily has a big military presence right here and up this tower on the eastern side of the evacuation center is where you'll find the loot crate apparently one of my multiplayer friends must have found it and looted it already so i cannot check to see what's in it so we are going to move on to loot crate number five
All right, everybody. Loot crate number five is located on the road to the east of the wheelhouse, the wheelhouse truck stop. You'll see there it goes around a circle right there, and then right down the road, you're gonna see a truck, a tractor trailer with a truck up against it. We're just looking for the right here. for our clinic, but the zombie situation is out of control. Can you help us out? Oh, can't hop up there. Hold on. Wow. So the tractor trailer is actually the loot crate here. I just got an M203 standalone. It's a launcher. It's only got a capacity of one, but I don't think I have this one. But even if I do, that's still a pretty rare weapon. Alright, everybody. So this is loot crate number six. There's this bridge that is located to the east of the wheelhouse truck stop along this road here. We did the number five was just over here at this truck. You can actually even still see the truck right over there. And if you just come over to this bridge, and if you go down into the valley here, so under the bridge is I a sure hope little, that juggernaut won't become a problem. There's a chest container right here. And we've got the replica bastard sword. I don't think I have this one, to be honest. I have um, a couple other it's types of things. Me down a oh bit. my goodness, what's that? Willie P. Grenade. Thrown incinerary smoke. I don't think I have any of those. That's pretty cool. So we're doing rare weapon loot crate number seven. And this one is located under this bridge that is located to the west of Mike's Concrete. It's just a little bit to the east of the T intersection here, and you need to go. If you go over this bridge here, there's gonna be a path on your right. You can take off and around, but you need to go up here. This is if you want to drive down here. That's not it. Hold on, it's right here. We got a guess. But here you can take this all the way down. And you see there's a bunch of tents over here. Man, they had a nice little base going on down here. Only thing I would hate is that zombies falling on you. And there it is. So it's right next to this little house looking building. Maybe another makeshift shower room, no laundry room, changing room, who knows. And uh, let's see what we get. And I forgot to drop off my loot, so I won't be able to take it right away. And another replica bastard sword. Congratulations, me. Yay. All right. So that is loot chest number seven. We'll be moving on here in just a moment. Rare weapon loot crate number eight is located here in the center of the map. There's a T intersection. Just basically, if you take Mike's, Mike's concrete, go east a little bit. I and mean, actually keep going east you'll see this pond over here lake pond and then there is this survivalist hideout go to that climb up to climb up in this fort here and this is where the crate is located. It looks like it's already been looted, maybe by one of my allies who played multiplayer with me, but 
or I've heard there may be a bug with some of the crates already being open, so that's a possibility as well. But that's where the location is, and good luck on the loot. All right, everybody. Loot crate number nine is located to the north of the Cabin Park Motel. There's a big lake here to the north side of the lake. There's a campground area. There's even a camper. There's a bathroom right here. If you run Anyone down. interested in trading, just stop on by. If you run down to the playground right here, there'll be some kids playing. Um, just don't mind them. Oh, kids? Yeah. And then there's basically a... Save them! A slide, and there is a climbing bar, monkey bar type thing. And we just gonna go ahead and loot the rare weapon loot crate. See what we get this time. Oh, hey, that's gonna come in handy. Oh, we got another another mono gear axe. One of my favorite axes, by the way. I love that axe. Uh, the mono gear axe. I I really believe it's one of the best ones. I don't know. There's some, something about it I like. It It basically... I, one of the guys I have will spin around with it and slice and dice. It's really good. Alright, everybody. So, loot crate number 10 is located in the cemetery just to the southeast of the church here. The church is located in this bottom center of the map. It's... Let's see. The closest base to here is probably between the cabin park motel and the knights the knights family drive-in so it's somewhere in between here you can, i mean everyone i think if you've played on this map you know where the church is located it's in the center south of the center city area so and then somewhere in the cemetery here there is an open grave and here it is, right on the other side of the tree. It's not in the open grave, it's actually like... I guess there is an open grave somewhere around here, but this isn't it. But it's right by the tree, the big tree here in the middle of the cemetery. Graveyard. And let's see what kind of loot we get. Another replica bastard sword. That's three for tonight so far. It is located in the center of the map. Uh, we have a... This one is pretty much off the beaten path. Highly recommend trying to walk to it instead of driving out Zip to it like zero. we tried to do, Just... getting our vehicle stuck. But there's an outcropping here, like a little tent icon. And this is just to the northeast of the church. And the center town area, it's in the <laughs> south part of it, so it's easy to... I mean, it's easy to see here on the map, at least, that I'm showing you. The chest, there's basically a little building that they have set up here, shack, whatever you want to call it. And there's a few loot containers, and this is where the loot chest is. Sadly, this one was already open, and there's no way that anyone else has been here already, because I didn't even know about this location until now. It's over here on the east side of the map. It is just to the south of the Knights Family Drive-In base. And there is a little complex here. There's actually a lot of quests given over here. And if you take a look there, this is a fortified wall, sort of. And there are two watchtowers here in this watchtower right next to the road. The, the loot crate's right here. We're gonna loot it, see what's in here. Check this out. And a, a Bastard of Bellu Wood. So this is, I had three of these on the last map. I just, this is my first one for this map. The Hidden Loot Crate number 13 is located right across the street from 12. There is that fortified place with two fortification towers. And right over here, there is an enclosure a bunch of cargo containers and the loot crate is here on this uh, makeshift table. And I'm gonna go ahead and see what kind of loot we get inside here. 
I'm on something good. Like a uber hammer. Nope. Seeds. A box of seeds, guys. Really? Seriously, just a box of seeds. Oh, wait. Wow. It was the table. I looted the table first. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here we go. Come on. Yes. A Prepper's AK-47. Nice. Hmm. I don't now, think I've seen that one yet. So the Preppers normally I get from the Prepper's Quest. So yep. I've, I have gotten them before. I think I might even still have one in my um, inventory. But I don't. this one actually has 75 capacity, which is, makes it really cool. So that's pretty. I like it. All right. And it just says, uh, um, dipping with the extra kit, this heavy hitting firearm was put together by someone with a practical plan in mind. And, uh, yeah, pretty good weapon. And this one you can also get through the Prepper's quest line. If you guys ever see that quest pop up, do it, because it's a really worthwhile quest. And because it has lots of loot in it, and it's got a couple good weapons. For loot crate number 14, it's located in that middle town area right along the main street here that leads over to the hospital. And it's at the intersection here. So um, just you basically go up to the back side of this building here. You go up the ladder and it's a lookout building. So you can actually, I believe, do surveys from here as well. You'll be able to see that's a screamer for sure. Whatever is in the area. So we know we got a screamer. And I think that's it for this area, but uh, the loot crate is right up here against the ventilation of the building. Maybe next time. I nothing! Say. That's the first what? one I ever had that had nothing in it. Alright, so just here's the ladder on the back side of the building here. And that's it for this one. This is for the 15th loot container, and this one is located at the hospital high up on the hill here in the very middle of the map. Uh, you pretty much have to get to it from over in this little town area, and it's just to the west of the one that I've considered uh, number 14. So come up the hill. This is a medical center. This is, it has the word Sasser on the front. Sometimes NPC groups do appear up here. And do quit like you know request you to do things for them like all the damn NPCs because they can't do anything themselves. And just if you just come around to the back here, the loot containers on the table. Sadly, this one is opened already, and we think we have an idea why. Um, the last time we saw this loot container, it was um, it was allowing my one of my multiplayer friends being able to open it. Actually, Wardlord was able to open it, but he was on green. And we decided we weren't going to open it right then until we were ready to open them all. So he did not open it. No one has opened it. And lo and behold, we come back here and we don't have a green player. So we're thinking that maybe that's why it's already open. Because it wasn't going to be something I could open myself. But that's just a theory. I really don't know why it's not. Um, you know, maybe a little bit buggy there, but... Um, I know that I wasn't able to loot this one when we saw it the first time, but that's the where the last loot container chest is. Good luck. Uh, I, I have to say that if you guys really want to open all the loot containers, the best way to do it is be single player first. Go around, make sure they're, they'll probably all be openable by you. Um, if not, though, please uh, please reply in the comments. Let me know like if you have run into the same problem even in a single player game. But once you go multiplayer, there those containers could potentially be opened by your people, like your friends that are playing with you. So uh, keep that in mind. But that's it. That's all the hidden loot containers. So we're done there. I just saw a juggernaut. Damn. Look at that. Got a big boy. Um, 
He's so dead. I'm low on ammo though. This is gonna have to be the hard way for him. Can't let that barrel get too close. Oh shit! What the? Jumped up top, sorry. I'm up top. I don't know you're fine, I heard a feral, so I jumped. <laughs> oh, where's the feral? Oh, there he is. If I can shoot him. Yeah, I'm taking out the feral before anything else. Alright guys, I can't tell you, one of the scariest things to hear when you're about to fight a Jug is a Feral. Because trying to fight both of them together is scary as hell. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, looky what we got. Yep, look at that. Baby, that's right. Come on, time for the party. I need to slow down. Thank you. I was out of stand. <laughs> I was too. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Couldn't do anything about that one. Completely out of stamina. Had to wait. I could have switched over and ate something real quick, but I was like, I figured you could do it, so I wasn't too worried. <laughs> All right, so that's how we, that's teamwork right there. It's going good, plus I'm enjoying your awesome stream. Thank you, King Ivan. Appreciate it. Ow. Oh, you guys know what that means. <laughs> Woo, baby! No! Oh, jeez, seriously? Better make these shots count. We kill every juggernaut we see, guys, just so you know. That's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> 